G'day, how's it going? I'm Beth. And I'm Arian. And this episode, we're celebrating a very special 10th YWAM Perth news. Yeah. We've covered five months of interviews, stories, and events from our amazing base here in Perth and abroad. But let's get to the news. Arian. Imagine you're all alone, stuck in a city, with no friends or family to really help you out. TRIO is one such ministry that meets you where you're at in your time of need. We caught up with Danny Taylor to hear about one of the stories that unfolded where they were able to help someone in need. Hi, my name is Danny. Uh, four weekends ago I was looking after the base and I came down on the Sunday morning and we found a family, a husband and wife and a one and a three year old sleeping in their car right there where that gold four wheel drive is. Uh, they had were in a sticky situation, the accommodation that they were hoping for had fallen through, they'd driven across from Canberra, they met a guy who said, oh you can come and stay with me and they're a little bit freaked out by that and he said, go to YWAM and they'll be able to help you. So through the course of the last three weeks we've been able to help provide emergency accommodation for them, uh, internet access so that they could find work. Uh, a, a small loan so that they could apply for a house which they got from the real estate just a week and a half ago and we've been able to locate that family into that home now and they are employed, uh, self-caring and fully on their feet again and God is amazing because it was all because of His goodness that He provided this opportunity for them. Thanks for that Danny, we really appreciate the work you and everyone else are doing in TRIO. Joining me now is Nathan from the Media HDTS, fresh from Outreach. Nathan, you've just been on the six months journey of lecture phase and outreach. Tell me, how has it impacted your life? Well, God's done many things through this entire six months. Most of them have been amazing, but the biggest thing is I've just found myself in Christ through this last six months. I've found my identity in God and, and seen who I really am and I've seen my giftings and my talents come out mm. to be used for God and, and to glorify Him and yeah just seeing who He really is as well, just seeing His true nature, His true character, just what His Word says about Him and just just how much that affects me as a person. Yeah, that's awesome. Totally that's great. Good. Great talking to you Nathan. Thanks, Arian. <laughs> Kona, Hawaii is home to Youth of the Mission's largest base, and it was here over 30 years ago that the University of the Nations was started. Last week, many representatives from Youth of the Mission Perth joined the international multitude in Kona for a conference and week of teaching, inspiration, and graduations. Four YWAM Perth people, Kathy Kennedy, Judy Hughes, Melissa Birch, and Sarah Lenz were among the honored guests at the U of N graduation ceremony. So this is our lovely Judy. Hi Judy. Um, and Judy also graduated tonight. Judy, what did you graduate in? Well, I graduated with an AA degree and an Associate of Arts degree in Christian Ministries. Awesome. And what was, um, what's been like one thing that has really stood out to you, um, something that's kind of impacted you about studying at the University of the Nation? I would have to say that the number one thing is that in whatever we study, whether it's the Bible or we're looking into different spheres of society, we always go back to the character of God. It's always about His character. Everything goes back to that. And so if you have a right understanding of God's character, um, that's really the place to start. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, Judy. You're welcome, Jenny. Okay, looking ahead, next week we have the commissioning night for the current quarter schools. They'll get all fancied up as we prepare to send them out in style to go out all over the world on their outreaches. And we'll also check out the new property and all the exciting progress that's happening there. So thank you very much for all your support and for watching the news over these past 20 weeks. It's been our privilege to keep you informed on what God is doing in and through our base here in Perth. We're looking forward to the coming weeks and whatever other things randomly happen to happen. For the YWAM Perth News Team, I'm Beth. And I'm Arian. We'll see you next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>